Hey everyone, this is Alex USA Days, and we're continuing Playwright Automation with TypeScript. So today we are in module 13, AI Assisted Testing, and this is the last module. The future of QA is AI Assisted Testing and Automation. Traditional automation is powerful, but AI is changing the game. Quality Assurance is evolving into more collaborative AI Assisted Discipline, where tools can suggest, generate, and verify test logic. I believe that the role of QA engineer will become more strategic, creative, and AI augmented. In this video, we will explore how a co-pilot powered by ChatGPT can assist with playwright test creation and how tools like MCP server enable a real-time interaction between AI and browsers. What is MCP server? It stands for Model Contest Protocol. And uh, MCP server model operates within a client-server architecture designed to enable AI applications, particularly large language models, to securely and efficiently interact with external tools, data sources, and services. I think we're entering an exciting area where QA becomes more creative and strategic. QA engineers who learn to work with AI will shape the future of testing. Okay, so here we are at uh, modelcontextprotocol.io in the docs and getting started. So a uh, model context protocol is open protocol that standardizes how applications provide context to large language models. Think of MCP like a USB-C port for AI applications, just as USB-C provides a standardized way to connect to your, your devices to various peripherals and accessories. MCP provides a standardized way to connect AI models to different data sources and tools. MCP enables you uh, build agents and complex workflows on top of LLMs and connect your model with the world. So MCP is the bridge between the AI agent and the real world, be it a database, um, a web browser, a tool like Playwright. So it can do a lot of different things. And uh, in order to get started, you will also need to have a co-pilot in VS Code. So uh, just do a little search type in Visual Studio Code Copilot in Google and you'll get to the page where you can download it if it's not already part of your Visual Studio Code. Then we're gonna go into the Visual Studio Code and here there is a tab called Extensions. Now for that, you want to have a latest Visual Studio Code installed. Uh, so you have to see the MCP servers. It's, it's quite a recent addition. So this little drop down, then you can hit install MCP servers. And then you can choose a different set of tools, what you can install and one of them is Playwright. So we're gonna install Playwright, and open up. Uh, we have an install button here, let's hit it. And now we can see that MCP server is being added. And then we will just start it. So our MCP Playwright is Start it, um, open in terminal, and another tab here on top is Copilot. So I'm going to hit Copilot, and you can choose one of the standard models. So if you had a paid subscription, you can choose some others. But we're going to choose ChatGPT 4.1, and here you can see their tools. Configure tools, you want to hit configure tools, click on it and see uh, that you actually do have MCP server playwright and it's checked. So all of the different commands that we were issuing to open a page, to click on element, all of that stuff is built in within the MCP server playwright. Now the AI agent, the co-pilot uh, with ChatGPT can actually go to a web page and build test cases. So I will ask, um, so for our application that we were testing, let's go and grab a login spec, open it up. And here, so we have a login flow that we created. Let's see if um, we can create now using the AI, right? Within the context of the framework that we created if the AI can actually add a test case. So let's go ahead and grab uh, test data and let's 
actually in the env, env file let's grab the url and i'm going to ask uh, chat gpt in the copilot uh, can you use mcp server uh, playwright playwright to analyze analyze this page and yeah i'm providing the page okay now you can see that mcp server is running because it's saying i will run navigate to this particular url and it's asking for your permission so obviously when you use ai tools and especially if you're going to do it at work you have to know the policies around it and you have to ask if that's okay to use them and then you have to know where you go and if it's a safe web page that's why it's asking for permission right so you confirm that and it's going to the page it's going to analyze the page uh, and now it, it is a combination of things so it is a co-pilot that is using llm and then llm using mcp to navigate to the page and looked at the page uh, and uh, can you create let's ask can you create create a text file with a list of possible tests for this page. Uh, just a few, few uh, as an example. And let's see if it uh, gonna do that. And I am running it as an agent mode. So when you have an agent mode, you, you can have ask mode or you can have agent mode. Uh, if you have Asian mode, it will be able to edit and create files. And now it just created a list of test cases here in the login page, uh, test-ideas.txt. And it says login with valid credentials, login with invalid username, login with invalid password. Uh, fields should be visible and enable. Login button should be visible and clickable. Air messages should disappear after successful login. Uh, password field should mask input characters. Page should display instructions for login. Okay, let's skip the file. Good. Uh, let's ask it. So in the uh, in this playwright playwright implementation with palm and fixture. Can you create a spec file separate, separate spec uh, file? And so let's see if it can have a test that will verify that uh, password fields mask input characters. So number seven and test uh, number seven scenario scenario that you created so i want to see if it will be able to produce a spec file here is a spec file being created so login password dot mask spec dot cs all right so looks like new spec file was created password field However, there are two issues. So not exported, palm fixture, and login page does not have password input method. All right, so first, let's take a look at our fixtures. Okay, so let's see palm. Uh, fixture TS and other spec files files as example on correct implementation implementation and update your test plus uh, you can create a method that you need to do the assertion. All right, so let's see if that's gonna help. 
Now it's analyzing the project, going through all of the files. So in the login page, it's adding password input. Okay, let's do that. I'm gonna keep it in the spec file that it created. So it's updating. Uh, it's actually doing a correct thing now instead of importing palm fixtures. It imports the test. So it's going with the login page and then password input grabs the password input. Have attribute type password. All right. One thing I want to confirm, will this verify test a case that uh, you created? How do we know? How do we know that password is masked? Okay, let's see. Yes, the test verifies that the password field is masked by checking that HTML type attribute is set to password. Okay, so type password automatically hides masks and the characters enter displaying dots. All right, perfect. So now let's try and run it. I can run it through the chat. Can you run only your test? And it's asking to run test. Uh, again, asking for permission. Let's say continue. We should see execution now. One worker, one test. And it appeared right here. And the test is passed. And it reports the test login ran successful and passed. This confirms that the password field is properly masked. Okay, that is great. Now I can, let's try also doing it manually. npx playwright test dash dash UI. And I'm gonna run this test uh, here so we can visually actually see what's going on. So here's our login password mask spec. We hit run, okay. Uh, let's go. So it went, navigated to the page, uh, found the attribute, and it verified that it has an attribute password. The test case is passing. It did need some help in the prompt, but you've seen uh, that it actually was able to analyze the project, correctly import the test, from the fixture after we asked him to go through the project and analyze it, it updated the test case. I used the method that already exists in the login page to open it up, uh, created new method to, to do the password input and did an assertion. That is pretty cool. So all of that was done by the AI. And if I didn't know any coding or I know you just a little bit, I could help and manage from the point of creating a test file with a set of test cases that AI can uh, help out building to the point of actually creating the automation for those test cases within the framework that we have, which is pretty awesome. So I think that's a good way to, to expand coverage and to add additional scenarios and have AI help you creating the tests and automation for them. Okay, and that's it. Uh, this concludes our course. This was Alex USA Days. It was a pleasure uh, teaching you and showing you all this. And I wish you all the best uh, to get going with your project, with your testing effort, with being a QA uh, automation engineer, using the AI, using Playwright. Uh, and uh, I'll see you on my next courses. Thank you. Bye.